Hello everybody, Orly Shani here. Welcome back to the DIY Designer. Thanks for joining us for another fabulous week, another fabulous DIY. Today's DIY is so simple that I actually considered not even doing it because it didn't seem like enough of a DIY. Um, but the result, the final result is so cool that why not? Every once in a while we need an easy breezy DIY and that's what we're gonna do today. So I did a styling segment on Home and Family a couple of weeks ago and I put one of the girls in this absolutely adorable Zadigan Voltaire shirt. It had this really cool metallic rimmed collar and all around the cuff and it was a plain t-shirt but it had such a cool pop. That metallic pop made it instantly feel special and it makes everything look really cool. So I wanna show you guys how you can do it to any sweatshirt, any t-shirt that you've got lying around. It's such an easy DIY, so let's get started. Let's look at the materials. If you guys have a dress form, I'd recommend using it just because it rounds out the shoulders and it obviously fills in the sweatshirt. It's a little easier to paint than if you were to lay it flat. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can totally lay it flat, but I have one, so I'm gonna use it. The metallic paint is super important. You wanna get something that's high quality. If you can get your hands on this stuff by Jacquard, I'd really recommend it. Um, and the brush size is really gonna depend on your skill level. So if you're a little nervous about it, I would use a smaller brush because it'll allow you to paint and then thicken that line as opposed to going in with one thick line and then being like, ah, I messed up. You know, you can kind of go in there. What I would do is make sure you shake your bottle. So you wanna put a decent amount of paint on your paintbrush because you wanna try to be able to create like a straight line. You don't wanna have to fill in too many lines and do your best to split the difference on either side of the seam. This is why you can see it's really nice if you can be on a dress form because you've got that sort of, uh, you can push against it. So when you get to this part, just hold your sweatshirt up and out so that you can create a straight line here. And go right to the edge. If you go over, that's totally fine. It's not supposed to be perfect. staring at it and I like it but I feel like it could use a little something else so I had an idea I poured a little bit of paint into a cup and took an old toothbrush you're gonna push your thumb against the bristles and what's gonna happen is it's gonna create like a really cool starry night effect this really subtle splatter of the gold paint which is really beautiful when I looked back at it I realized oh, I wanted the full splatter not the subtle splatter so I went in and heavily dipped my toothbrush into the paint and splattered aggressively now I wanted to hem it a little bit but I didn't want it to look too perfect so I bundled it all up and cut it at once, which gave me this uneven hem. I mean, I said it was easy and I don't think I disappointed. This is such a simple DIY with such a high impact. I really hope you guys do this one. Just a little reminder of something I learned while just doing it. If you are gonna do the splatter technique that I did, make sure you lay something to protect your floor. I did it outside, I got it all over my brick. Luckily it wipes right off the brick, but if you're doing it inside, be very careful, lay something down. If you liked this DIY, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you saw, subscribe, subscribe, and share it with a friend. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I will see you beautiful people next week. Love you guys.